Hey guys, and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be talking about children's books. Specifically, board books. This is part one of our three-part series where we are going to be discussing my favorite children's books. Now, before I was a mom, I was a nanny of 21 children over 10 years, so I have read my fair share of children's books. Some of them I absolutely loved, and others, let's just say I'd rather listen to Nails on a Chalkboard than ever read again. With that being said, I know how daunting it is to go pick out a book at a library, let alone a bookstore where you are paying and investing in it. So I figured I would share some of my all-time favorite children's books with you guys and hopefully help you fill out your at-home library. So as I said, this is a three-part series, part one being board books, part two being children's picture books, and then part three being um, early chapter books slash juvenile books, which is basically just young chapter books. So with the board books and with the rest of these, I'm going to have them sectioned off in kind of different categories. So to start off is educational. So I'm going to start off with um, pretty much everybody's go-to, which is Eric Carle is the author. He does The Very Hungry Caterpillar and then the um, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? and the Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? And these are great books for exposure to new animals and colors as well as sounds and more animals. Um, my son really enjoyed these. As you can tell, if you look at the spines, they have been worn to death. And just in case you're wondering, they also make versions with um, musical additions to them. This was a lot of fun for my son. I normally don't buy stuff like this, but we found it at a garage sale and he greatly enjoys it. Next up on our educational um on our educational list is the Good Night Books. So this, this company does a lot of these books. I'm not even sure how many there are, but when you Google image it, it's scary. So just looking at what I own, which is more than this, I don't know where the rest of them are. They specifically focus on one title. So like this is as specific as Mackinac Bridge, but they also have Farm or Your State or things like that. So we have Good Night Michigan. We also have Good Night Cowboys and Good Night Farm and Good Night Mackinac Bridge. And I know we have a few others, but I can't think of what they are off the top of my head. But they're really great books for just exposing children to different scenes in life, as well as different um, locations. If you have family that lives in a different state, they're great for that to kind of get them ready to go on a trip to go see that family member and just helps with that sort of beginning of the geographical mindset. Next is Eight Little Planets. This is obviously a great intro to the solar system and for those of you out there that still struggle with the fact that that is an eight instead of a nine, I feel you, it's hard. But this gives just first exposure to different planets in a colorful and interactive way, as well as um, introducing them to different facts about the planets. So like the Six Little Planet loves all, the, all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. And it's a rhyming book, which I love. I love board books and meter. I think they're very helpful for children to link on to them a little bit better. And they're just easier to read. Which brings me to my next book, which is a Dr. Seuss, Mr. Brown Can Moo. Can you? Anyway, sorry. This book is one of my favorites of Dr. Seuss's. I don't love everything he makes, but I do enjoy some of them. And this one is all about different sounds that animals make or different things make. Next up, it's a little bit of cheating because technically this is like a board book, but like on steroids. This company, a Sporn, is one of my absolute favorite books or book companies. I, if I see them on a shelf or if I see them at a garage sale, I snatch it up without even reading the book. The company is super colorful, but they have really nice artwork, very clear cut, very understandable, but at the same time is attractive to a child's eye. This book is all about the, um, it's called the My First Word Book by Usborne. And it's just all the different things that the children, oops, 
all the different things that children experience and are exposed to throughout their days and they can identify the different items and just put a name to the animal or to the the image and then an honorable mention i wasn't going to put this on here but i do love these books you see them everywhere so it's kind of redundant but they are really great for your first words my son really latched on to these books he didn't like this one as much as he liked the um first hundred animals one I personally like this one much better just because not everything in here is applicable and this one you know he learns the actual images of the animals and their names and my husband had so much fun reading this to him he would come up with sounds and all sorts of fun interactions with this so I do want to put this one on the list so it's um Pretty Books, First 100 Animals. Our next subject is fun and interactive. So if you are already familiar with Sandra Boynton, this is gonna be a little ridiculous for you because you already probably own some of these. But we love Sandra Boynton. We love her style, we love her artistry, we love her wording. They're fun and they're boppy and they have rhyme and meter to them and they are, some of them are interactive, and I just, I, I love them. I tried to collect all the ones that we have, but I'm missing a few, so keep in mind, Barnyard Dance is one of my absolute favorites, as well as Blue Hat, Green Hat. Those are amazing books, but we also have One, Two, Three, Opposites, Snuggle Puppy, But Not the Hippopotamus, The Belly Button Book, Bah. And then dinosaur dance. Next on our fun and interactive list is Good Night, Good Night Construction Site. This isn't really silly or anything like that, but it is just a fun book. It's also written to a meter. You can already tell where this is going. I love, I love my books in meter. Um, but it's just fun. I love the artwork. It's a little bit more long-winded, but again, it's at a meter, so it just kind of helps stretch the child. I've had boys and girls love this book, so keep that in mind. And then Wonky Donkey. Oh, I love this book. It's so goofy. And it's just so much fun, especially having someone unsuspecting read it. That's just great. I had my husband's grandma read this to my son, and it was just the funniest thing, watching this prim and proper lady read this book. There's also a hilarious youtube video which i will totally link below of a scottish woman reading this to her granddaughter and it's just these are the things that fill the soul <clears throat> anyway he has one eye one leg he likes to listen to country music he's cranky all sorts of stuff but it's really fun and it has a fun little tongue twisting section he was a spunky, hanky-panky, cranky, stinky-dinky, lanky, honky-tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. It's great. So this is The Wonky Donkey, written by Craig Smith, illustrations by Katz Cowley. Man, that's a name. And then again with tongue twisters. Kids love it when you are just making a fool of yourself, so tongue twisters are always a favorite for me. Fox and Socks, if you're not familiar with it, it's a good oldie by Dr. Seuss. Huge tongue twisters. The board book version, though, is a little bit shorter, so you don't end up sitting there for an hour just wanting to throw the book across the room. But, um, yeah, there's some great tongue twisters. Chicks with bricks, chicks with blocks, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox, fox on clocks and bricks on blocks, bricks on blocks and knocks on box. It's fun. Next on the interactive. This is the... That's not my dot, dot, dot series. We have probably eight of these, but these are just the ones that I've grabbed offhand. There's nothing really super special about them, but they are touch and feel books, which are just great for interaction. That's not my owl. Its tummy is too fluffy. It's a nice touch and feel, makes them identify different sections of the animal and wings and ears and so on and so forth 
and we have a bunch of these. They have been loved hard and put away hard. <laughs> Next on our list is moral books. Now we only have, oh, I only have two to share with you today that are moral books, but um, they are great little ditties. We have Little Blue Truck, which is a story about just basically thinking of your fellow man and taking time out of your day to help somebody else out, as well as not thinking too highly of yourself as a person. So it's the little blue truck thinks about all of his animal friends and the big, big truck comes through and just plows through everybody and then gets stuck and no one will help him. So the little blue truck comes and helps. There's just a lot of really good, good lessons in this. I really enjoy it. Plus it's also written in meter. <laughs> and then shocking. So is this one. Pout Pout Fish. So this is Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle. And then lastly, Pout Pout Fish, which is also written in meter. This is written by Deborah Deason. Dyson. This one is um, just about kind of self self attitude um there's a lot of different lessons you could read from this one too but everybody's just pointing out to him how grumpy and blue he is and he just keeps getting lower and lower like physically as well as emotionally and then eventually it just takes one fish to come and kind of get him out of his funk and he realizes that he's not a bummer that he is a happy fish a kiss kiss fish and it's just fun to watch kids sing it and read it along with you. Which brings us to our last topic, which is Christian themed books. Starting off with these two written by Gary Bauer, God Paints the World and God Grows the World. They're really bright and colorful. This one's just, you know, looking at the magic that is in this world, the different things that grow, the different animals that exist and stuff like that. This is a fun, fun one as well as the God Paints Our World. This author makes other books, but I think these two were the only ones that made our theological cut. Um, but I I greatly enjoy the different color, color themes and just the artwork is very pretty and very, um, very drawing. Last but not least, we have um, Rebecca Van, Van Dudewert which is all about different reformers. Um, these are fun, very short, not super breathy books um, with really cute illustrations so they keep the child somewhat engaged. Um, and we really enjoy these just because they just get us in the step in the right direction for introducing these people to our children's lives. Um, we have The Doctor Who Became a Preacher, which is about Martin Lloyd Jones. Then we have the book, um, The Woman Who Loved to Give Books, which is Susanna Spurgeon. Uh, the Woman Who Helped a Reformer, which is Katarina Luther. And then The Man Who Preached Outside, which is George Whitfield. And they're just fun little stories, really short. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine pages for about a person's entire life is pretty cool and they're just fun little stories we really enjoy these so that's it guys that's all I have for my board books it was really hard to summarize it down to this few books but I really wanted to just share with you our favorites instead of just piling a whole bunch on you all of these books will be listed in the description below probably linked to an Amazon page but obviously you can find them in other locations Anyway, that wraps up our board book video. If you guys have board book suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people say stuff like that, but we are constantly looking for more books to add to our collection. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We will be shooting out our next video pretty soon here all about children's picture books. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.